What's going on, guys? I am Pryoxis, and I'm back with another banger, man. Y'all know the vibes, man. We're going to be showing you how to use Rob Font, and this man is daily. He's honestly, he's the TJ Dillashaw killer. He can be a Piotr Jan killer as well, bro. Um, This dude, punch speed and punch power mixed with his moves levels, like it's insane. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. So look at his stand-up, right? The punch speed is 94, the punch power is 92, right? But guys, watch when I go over into... Um, in a practice, when I'll show you his actual move levels, they're actually insane. And what he has an advantage over TJ and Piotr Jan and Cody Garbrandt is the reach, right? So look at his reach. He has a 71-inch reach. Cody Garbrandt has a 65. TJ Dillashaw has a 67. And Piotr Jan has a 67 as well. So what does that mean? Our jab cross is going to be money compared to these guys, okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and jump into practice mode and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Now, here we go. We're in practice mode. If you want to look at the individual moves of your own fighter, you want to go down to game help, then go over to view moves, and you'll be able to see, look at this. Rob Font has the level 4 jab, the level 4 cross, the level 4 lead hook, the level 4 rear hook, level 3 lead uppercut, the level 4 rear uppercut. Body jab is only a level 3. The body cross is level 3. But then you go to the lead hook to the body, level 4, rear hook to the body, level 4. So his jab, cross, and lead hook on, on to the head and the body are all level four striking moves, bro. And that's what we're going to be using in this showcase, right? And, and you go over to his kicks. He does have some some decent kicks. You know, what I like most is that he has body front kicks and, you know, front kicks to the head as well. Those are my, the things that I like. He does have a push and side kick. But all in all, I want to be pressure boxing or a kickboxing and outside fighting. But mostly in this video, I'm going to be pressure boxing my opponents. And then we go over to his combinations and he has level five boxing combinations, guys. This man, hands are lethal. But hey, I'm not gonna rumble on too much, man. We about to jump into this. I'm about to catch some bodies, man. If you haven't yet, y'all know the vibes, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if y'all are new. And don't forget, man, turn on the notifications because you don't want to miss a stream and you don't want to miss an upload, all right? Let's get it. So here we go, guys, with the first fight, and I'm glad that we get to go against the Piotr Jan, right? So here we go. We know we have the punch, um, we have the reach advantage, but other than reach, he has this, does have the power advantage and the speed advantage, but we have reach. Our jab cross is going to be money, but we're not going to back down. I'm going to show you guys that Rob Font can compete with this guy here, all right? So I'm going to break down this fight as we're going across. And by the way, this is live commentary, right? So he's going jab cross. He, he's liking the low kick. Boom, he throws that rear, I mean, that lead kick to the body, right? And he throws a, okay, okay, okay. So he's a bit wild. I can't, I can't get a, a grip on what exactly he's going to throw, so I'm not going to use any head movement. I'm just going to be patient. It's a five-round fight. I throw a cross lead up, lead uppercut, okay? And remember, jab, cross, lead hook is all level four strikes. So if I can land that on him, it'll be money. Also, his lead hook to the body is money. Now, with this guy being so aggressive, what we're going to do is target the body now, all right? So we're going to throw small strikes up top to get him thinking about up top, but our main focus is going to be that body. And then lead body hook is a level four, right? So one, two, one, two is money, right? One, two, nope, okay. Faint, okay, he's crazy. We throw that up top to punish him. I could have went to the body there, but I wanted to punish him hard for doing uh, such a foolish strike, okay? Jab, cross, then again, these are level, level four strikes, man. This is one of my favorite combinations. It's a jab up top followed by a cross because it sets up other things. It sets up things like uh, the jab cross up top or maybe the jab cross lead hook up top. Boom, punish him again. And because he has the level four boxing combinations, he also has um, the, the one, I mean, the uh, four body hooks. And you guys see what I'm talking about. Like, I can't really get a just on what he is going to throw because he's so wild. He's taunting now. Okay, that's fine. But I'm still going to knock you out. But one, two, one. Cross, lead hook to the body. Cross, lead hook to the body. Cross, lead hook to the body. He let me land that for free. Up, boom, boom. Like, you can't walk down Rob Front. You're not doing it. Even with Piotr Jan, you're not, you're not walking him down. He can fight in the pocket with the best of them. Due to his boxing combinations. Oh, yeah, you're crazy. Okay, walk the body. Body, 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 body. <laughs> That's good. The four body hooks is lethal, right? Cross, hook to the body, hook to the body. Boom, I can pressure. I can pressure, but I'm not, I don't pressure like everyone knows, man. I don't pressure consistently throwing strikes, trying to break the block. I will mix you up, bro. 
I will mix you up. Nice body kick, okay? Boom, back to the body. So we get a body rock already. So we know that he has some stamina missing, and he's also throwing very wild strikes. So round two or round three, I'd say, is where I get the finish. Nice body hooks. Boom, we're going to come back with our body hook. Fake body hook. And you see how his aggression has gone down uh, by a great amount. One, two, three. Rock him here. Go to the body. Okay. Cross. Kick to the body. Land it clean. Cross to the body. Lee hook. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. He tried to shoot the takedown. though. you're a wrestler now. I'm going to throw two knees to the body because I want to work the body hook. And then throw that punch at the end to the body. Nice. So as you guys see, this guy's a very aggressive opponent. And let's check the stats really quick. So he threw 111 and landed 43. I threw 93 and landed 56. That is a very high, uh, you know, landing uh, ratio. And I, and I got two knockdowns. I got a body rock. I got a rock up top. It's just, it's just devastating. Rob Font is a legitimate problem. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. All right, so here we go. Again, the jab cross lead hook is, you know, I, I speak a lot about basic boxing in this game, but it can get it can get complex with setting people up, like throwing certain strikes for a reason. You guys see, I got him thinking low. Now we're gonna go back to the jab cross. Boom, 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 boom. Meet, 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 meet. That's, that's easy, bro. Back to the body. Cross up top. Nice, nice, that's nice. So we're gonna reset. Let our head health regen. Not gonna trade, not gonna do anything because he's still be out yawn, and we know he can still do some damage. He throws that high kick. Okay, and you guys, see, you guys see after he threw that high kick, he's already blocking low, right? So we threw a three-piece up top, threw another three-piece up top, then across the top, lead body hook, lead body hook, he blocked it. Then we get out of the way, cross, uppercut, cross, land it clean, put him on his ass, all right? Cross, okay, nice, nice, nice. Again, we can pressure. Our one-two is money. Our one-two-three is money. He shoots a takedown, we deny it. Nope, not gonna work, buddy. Rear hook landed, fake body hook. Tried to throw a two piece up top. He blocked it. He throws a lead body hook twice. Then three times. I rock him. Knock him down with the uppercut. Then land the body hook. Knock him down again. Okay. And we're going to go four body hooks. Body, 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 body. And we rock him right there. Uppercut, body hook. Okay. And you guys see, you don't have to do nothing extravagant with, with uh, Rob Front because he has some real good boxing. You guys see he's gas. And uh, he's probably going to get pull counter lead hook. Yeah, I can see it now. I can see it now. Actually, cross uppercut. Cross uppercut or the pull counter lead hook. Or maybe even a body shot. Okay, nice. Two body shots. Oh, that's it. Yep. <laughs> that's it. He came forward with the rear, with the uh, strike to the body. I threw my rear uppercut, put him to sleep. But you guys see, you know, living testimony, uh, living testament that, you, that Rob Font hands are lethal, man. I'm telling you, they are very lethal. He's running with the other young. He, I think. TJ Dillashaw can't compete with the hands. It's, I'm just going to be completely honest. Um, if you play the matchup right, don't get me wrong, TJ Dillashaw still has some lethal hands. But I feel like Rob Font hands might just be better in this game, not in real life. But, hey, with that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into the next fight. If you have not yet, be sure to hit the like button, all right? Here we go. Okay, so here we go. We're going against a Marlon Marais. Now, with this matchup here, guys, we know Marlon has a amazing kickboxing or Muay Thai, more to say, right? So what do we do? Well, we uh, we crowd his kicks by pressuring him. Now, I'm not going to sit here and walk him down and break his block. I'm going to show you uh, actual pressure fighting, you know, as it should be, right? So he's throwing the knee, and that's what we have to worry about uh, against this guy, right? It's the the knee strikes and the elbows in the pocket right so what you want to do if you don't want to be leg kicked as much you want to get completely out of the pocket right to where if he throws that kick he has to telegraph it by moving forward or you want to walk him down or you want to be in the pocket so if he throws the kick it does minimum damage right one boom boom okay cross lead body hook nope you see i see how i'm getting out the pocket now, that one did land right but he threw uh, some strikes in front of it, it's, which is why, you know, it confused you. He threw a jab, jab, followed by a low kick. But I'm getting out the pocket. Boom, boom. I'm, I'm fine with being in the pocket with this guy. He throws a switch. Okay. And now, I'm not going to allow him to push me back anymore. Right? Boom. And he's landing in the pocket. Right? Jab cross. Lead body hook. Rear body hook. Cross, jab up top. 
Jab, cross to the body. Lead hook to the body. Fake. Cross up top. And just I'm just gonna mix up the levels of my strikes and I'm doing him. Cross, lead body hook. If I, if I can't land anything, right? I need to I need to throw a jab. If I can't land a jab, what 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 do you think? Like I should if I can't land a jab, I'm not gonna be able to land anything. Because that's the fastest strike. Right? Whether that's a jab up top or a jab down low. Okay. Jab faint. Body hook faint. You guys see his block is low. We're going to throw a three-piece. I tried to throw an uppercut, but it turned into a lead body kick. I mean, a uh, lead leg kick. You guys see I'm pressuring him now. Pressuring him against the uh, cage. He hit me with a two-piece. Nice. I'm staying in his face, though. Because I know Marlon has... Oh, yeah. That's it. That's me. Okay. Okay. We catch the knee. Lead body hook. Jab cross down low. Nice. And you guys see the, that kick didn't do much damage, but because I'm, I'm cradling him. I'm, well, I'm crowding him more to say. That was a nice. And that's the thing about these Muay Thai guys. In the pocket, they have the knees and the elbows. So it's not as easy as you think it would be to pressure fight them. Well, in, this, in the way that I'm pressure fighting, it's not as easy. You know, I could walk him down and just try to break his block. But I'm trying to break, you know, I'm trying to land stuff for a reason. I'm, what I throw, you know, I'm trying to set it up to land something else. Like right there, I threw a lead body hook to the body, but it was a feint. And then I immediately fired off a rear hook to the body. Boom, cross up top, jab, nope. Cross to the, I mean, lead hook to the body, lead hook feint, rear hook. Oh, that was landed. Nice, he throws a knee, lead hook to the body, lead hook to the body. Yeah, okay, now he shoots a takedown for some reason, which is odd. Then we're going to two hook, two body knees, and then a punch to the body. I always like to work that body hook, man. And we know Marlon Rice has very bad stamina, and uh, he has a bad chin as well. So, just going to break him down. Rob Font has a very good chin. You know, we can we can absorb some damage and still and still be fine. As you guys see, look at my head health, my body health, my leg health, right? Jab cross, jab cross, nice uppercut. Low kick, but it did no damage because we're in the, you know, we're, we're crowding him, right? Boom, cross. You see how I'm, I'm not caring about what he's throwing because I'm not worried about his hands. Now, if it was to be somebody else, it'd be different. But you guys see, I'm not really worried about Marlon Marais' hands, uh, his hands. I'm worried about his kicks. Boom, two body hooks. Boom, body, body, body. I just landed a upper, rear uppercut followed by two body shots. Oh, that was that was nice. That was nice. But you guys know it's nice, okay? I blocked that though. Cross, lead body hook. Lead body hook. Lead body hook faint. He gonna throw uppercut? Nope. Okay. Tried to set him up. I tried to set him up by throwing a uh, a lead body hook faint into uh, a pull counter uppercut, but he did not throw the uppercut. Nice. Boom. You guys see, man, I'm just not worried about his hands. Dude, what I need to be worried about is his kicks. Oh, come here. Go to the body. Go to the body. Oh, I tried to throw an uppercut and it threw that. Okay, uppercut. Body hook, body hook. Okay. Jab, body. Oh, nice. Okay, now we need to retreat. Okay, just hold my block. Now, you guys see how he's blocking the body shots now? Boom, I deny that takedown. I'm going to throw two body knees again. Right? And then a body punch at the end. Cross, Lee hook, cross, Lee hook. Okay. He throws a leg kick. I block it. Okay. Boom. 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 Yep. Knock him down. You guys see, I'm not I'm not breaking the block, man. I'm not. I'm just landing. I'm mixing up my combinations with the things that I'm doing. Right? Cross up top. Cross up top. Hook, hook to the body. Cross up top. Jab, cross, lead hook. Cross. Oh, he got the hit reaction. Otherwise, he probably would have got rocked. Throwing these feints just to see what he's doing with his block. Boom, jumping kick to the body. Throw the feints. And you guys see his hands aren't really dropping low much. So that tells me I can even throw something like a body kick that would possibly land. But I have to be careful because I'm trying to, if I throw a body kick, that means I'm stepping into the kickboxing world with Marlon Rice. And that's not really where you want to be. Jab cross, lead hook to the body. Nice jab cross. Okay. Front kick, pushing back towards the cage. Lead body hook. And you guys see he's blocking my lead. He's predicting when I'm going to throw the lead body hook. So I throw a two piece up top. Cross, lead body hook. 
cross, lead hook cross, uppercut, knock him down. And we got the combination back up top. Well, didn't work. Nice. And he threw that. We're going to throw a switch kick that he does have. He tries to take me down. Didn't work. Okay. Clean. Very clean. Very clean. You guys see me. I'm just, I'm just, just pressuring him. But I'm not being that guy that just block, 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 block. You know, I'm not trying to do that, man. I'm just let, go up top, go low. Go back up top, go up top, go up top, go low. Just mixing up the levels of punches, man. And I can mix in some kicks, but again, I don't I don't even want to try to mix in kicks because if I miss a kick or, you know, he catches me because he throws a faster kick than me, I could possibly be knocked out or knocked down. You know Marlon Marais kicks are insane. Jab, cross, uppercut, cross. Nice body, uh, low kick. Okay. Okay, let's throw some faint. See what he's doing. Faint, faint, faint. His hands went low real quick. Okay, so we're gonna go hook up top, then land. Okay. Now, now this round we haven't really landed much, so we're gonna go back to the basics. The jab, followed by the cross to the body. Just see how how much we can land that and what we can what we can um, use off of that right there. Jab, faint. Okay. Then go to the body, faint to the body. Jab, cross up top. We rock him. Jab, cross up top. We knock him down. He probably thought I was gonna go for the lead body hook, but I'm not. Then lead hook up top. Okay. And you continue stalking. Lead body hook faint. Okay. You guys see I'm just, I'm just stalking him. Lead body hook. Rear uppercut to the body. Okay. Oh, nice. That was nice. That was nice. Nope. Come here. Come here. Nope. And you guys see he's blocking though. So what I'm going to do, the second strike he's throwing, the second strike that I'm throwing is going to the body. And he keeps blocking it. So I'm going to throw a jab followed by like an overhand that landed clean there. Jab. Jab, real hook, then landed clean there, knocked him down. Now we're gonna go hook, uppercut, jab. Oh my goodness, I almost got knocked out trying to throw that overhand. Okay. You guys see my head health is low. But his head health is low as well. But that's just something I don't agree with this game. The head health, like it, it your head health will get dwindled, and theirs will as well. Because it takes so many knockdowns to knock somebody down so they can consistently try to come back. But then lead by the hook, as you guys see. The fight's essentially over. <laughs> that cross just stung him in the back of the head, and he just died. We're going to look at this replay before we head over into the next fight, man. That, that cross said, bing. He man just died. But you guys see, man, Rob Fine hands are a problem. Look at the replay. Bink. Yep, the back of the head. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> that is illegal, man. Bink. But, hey, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, man, don't forget to hit the like button. All right, guys, I'll be back with another fight. Okay, going against my boy, Trippy Roo. Can Trippy Roo get the win on me? We'll see. But he's going with the Frankie Yeager pick. Frankie Yeager actually has level 5 boxing combination, if you guys don't know. But Frankie Yeager, I don't think, will be able to box with Rob Font. But we're going to see. Here we go. I'm going to go back to the pressure. I know Frankie Yeager has a uh, bad reach, so my 1-2 is going to be money as well. Okay. But Frankie Edgar can wrestle. That's one thing Frankie Edgar can do. Not sure if Trippie Rue will look to do that, but he can wrestle, right? Also, uh, right off the bat, we noticed that Trippie Rue is moving his head. So if he's doing that, we need to throw strikes where we feel like we'll land 100%, whether that's jabs to the body, just to get him thinking about something else, right? Nice overhand, but I got blocked. And, um... While the jab doesn't do a lot of damage to the body, the jab is intended to set up other strikes. You guys see, I'm throwing these feints to the, the jab feints to the body. Right? Jab, feint, body cross. And if, and if he's not blocking jabs, right? If he's not blocking jabs consistently to the body, then you can land under strikes to the body. You can go lead body hook. You know what I mean? Level four strike. Okay. Lead body cross. He throws an uppercut. That was nice. Cross up top. I mean, look at the block, right? He goes across to the body. Crawley, body, body, okay. Nice. Nice. Low kick. Faint. The body jab. Body jab, faint. I just want to see what he's doing with his block. You know, that's how you, you, you have efficient landing percentages. If you pay attention to someone's block versus just throwing strikes and just be throwing them for no reason. That's how you have a uh, very efficient... Uh, striking ratios, landing ratios, I'm sorry. Boom. You guys see I'm landing to the body quite a bit. Nothing major, though. But, boom, lead body hook. 
Cross up, jab up top. Cross, lead by the hook, let it clean. Right? Jab, cross, lead hook. I mean, I, I threw a jab, cross, lead uppercut. And it landed because he's been thinking about the body. And you guys see, now he's blocking the body. And that's why I threw that combination is because he was thinking about going to the body. He was thinking about me going to his body. Body shot, body shot, right? Quick little shot. Boom, boom, back up top. Cross, lead body hook. Okay, he throws a combination there. Jab, body cross. Okay, now he's kicking that hell out of my leg, right? Nice. Okay. Throw some feints out there. Just to see what he's doing, right? You see he's moving his head. So if he's moving his head, that means his legs aren't moving and his body isn't moving as well. We check that kick, go to the body. Go to the body, but he blocks that one. Cross. Now what I did there, what I did there, and I'll explain to you what exactly I did there. I threw a strike, right? And if you, if you pause and go back and watch, you'll notice that I threw a strike. I waited a second, went off beat, and then I fired off another combination because I knew, I've been conditioning him that I only throw my combinations in a rapid uh, at a rapid rate. And then I threw the combination and immediately fired off another combination. Just, you know, changing up the tempo. I believe there's another there's a proper name for that in boxing. Um, can't think of what it is. You guys see what I did there. And it resulted to me knocking him down as well. Okay. And, and this is my type of uh, my type of fight. You know, if you don't know me personally, this is what I like to do. I like to throw things with a purpose. I like to land with a purpose. I like to set people up. You know, it's 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 fun winning. It's fun, you know, breaking someone's block or doing that type of style and winning. And that's fine. But when you actually are creative in doing things and making people block a certain way and landing strikes, it's just a different feeling, man. It's a different feeling when you knock somebody out because you set that knockout up. It's a different feeling versus you throwing a jab cross head kick when someone someone is rocked and you knock them out, right? Not to be a hater or nothing, but that's just my opinion. And he's landing all these kicks. Let's throw a high kick. Nice, landed. Body, nope. So he's um he's landing some low kicks here. So I want to be careful with with those as well. See, I checked that one. And it doesn't take too many checks before. Uh, okay, it doesn't take too many checks before you, the leg health is screwed on your opponent. Boom, go to the body, back to the body, then back up top. He shoots the takedown, we deny it. Two throw two to the body, yep, and then a strike at the end. Then we're gonna break the clinch. Right, body hook, body hook. He missed that one. Faint up top, faint, faint. Okay, Let's see what he's doing. Cross up top. Nope, I missed. And you guys see, vote. There goes the check. Cross up top. Jab cross. Lead body hook. Now I shouldn't be throwing that. I shouldn't be throwing jab crosses, especially when I was in the pocket. I need to be throwing some uh some strikes that are more so, you know, like looping strikes, like the hooks and the uppercuts or elbows even. All right? Okay. Boom. Body hook. Body hook. He blocked it. And I don't know if you guys noticed right there, he threw a leg kick fate into a uh, hook, but I blocked it. Boom, I rock him here. Let's go to the body, right? Go to the body one more time. Then cross to the body. Nice. Now, what that right, that right there will do is condition him. So next time I rock him, he will get, be thinking about going uh, me going to his body. And then I'll throw a combination up top. Right? Let's throw a switch. Body hook, body hook, we rock him there. Jab cross, uppercut, lead body hook, overhand, nope. He, he uh, moves his head, body uppercut. Nice. Faints. Oh, nice, uppercut. Faints. And we don't look at the block. You gotta see, he isn't really blocking low. But he is, but he is doing this. He's throwing that counter uppercut. So we're gonna have to be, oh, nice, low kick. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, but you gotta be careful, man. When you rock somebody's leg, you still can, um, you still can throw your combinations and they come out as as normal speed. As I don't agree with, but boom, we okay. I thought that was gonna be a rock. And you guys see, I'm not gonna throw those hooks to the body because we've been throwing those counter uppercuts. So I'm being more careful, right? Or I need to move my head, then throw a strike. Cross up top, jab. That goes up counter uppercut. I tried to go to a body shot. Boom, that landed. Body shot, he blocks it. Nice low kick. Jab, jab, cross. Okay. 
So in this round, he's adjusted a little bit. Honestly, he should have adjusted earlier with those counter uppercuts because I've been landing a lot of body shots. And I've got a, uh, I believe I got a knockdown. I'm not sure if I got a body rock, but he should have uh, been, should have adjusted earlier with these body shots I've been landing because it only adds up. It really only adds up against my opponent. But here we go, man. Here we go. Round three. Touch him up. He shoots a takedown. We already was holding the, uh, the down block, which is a technically the takedown deny. Now, he's on the case, so we're going to fire off a combination, right? Boom, we're going to reset. I assume he's going to throw a low kick, so we want to get completely out of range where it's telegraphed, and he has to move forward with it. Jab, cross, get out of range. All right, now we're going to get into range. That way, um, you know, the kicks don't do nothing. Right there, you see how the kick didn't do no damage? Body hook. Okay. I threw an overhand. Oh, it almost landed. Okay. Nice. Yep, I knew he was going to throw that. Boom, boom. Two pieces up top. Cross, jab, body, body. But he gets out of range. And he's probably going to throw a high kick because he's been blocking. Because I've been blocking low. So I'm going to be looking to uh to duck the high kick. Go to the body. Feign it, though. Then pull. Ah, uh, I thought he was going to throw an uppercut. So I was going to pull counter. Now, with him blocking... Uh, throwing those uppercuts. Now I want to switch over into kickboxing, right? Rob Font does have some nice kicks. So I want to switch over into kickboxing because I don't want to be hit with counter uppercuts, but I also still want to continue landing to the body, right? Boom. Lead kicks to the body. Jab. He shoots a takedown. Boom. We sprawl it. Now I'm going to throw these punches because I want to hurt his body health. Not really sure what exactly he's going to do here, but now I'm going to stand up because I feel like I've done enough damage to his body. He's going to... I'm not... Okay. He's going to lay here. Boom. Throw the hook. Cross, lead hook, cross, uppercut, land it clean. I check that kick. Hook, let's throw a kick to the body because he's moving his head and we don't we don't want to miss any strikes. Okay. Nice low kick. Jab, jab, cross, lead hook. His block is gone. Throw a, oh, oh my, he threw an overhand. So next time we rock him, we're going to throw an overhand. Uh, I may, if I rock him to the leg, I'll throw an overhand. Oh, I'll rock him to the body, I'm sorry. Jab, cross, he moves. see how he moves his head? He's moving his head and he's throwing uppercut. So that just that just means I need to be using my kickboxing. And if I'm going to use my kickboxing, I'm going to switch stances because I'm going to be in that range, right? I'm going to be in that range of kickboxing, so I, I, I want to more so be be safe and not take a body uh, rock, or, I'm sorry, a leg rock or a leg kick knockdown. So I'm going to switch stances. I'm going to switch into, instead of pressure boxing, we're going to... Just overall kickbox and uh, fight on the outside. Because I know 100%, I know 100% that um, his body health and his head health isn't that great. Jab cross, feints, feints. Okay, nice. Now he's kicking my other leg, which has a lot of health. Then he checks, or he blocks that kick and catches it. Nice. And then one of my favorite combinations is a feint. Boom. It's a, it's a cross, whether you throw it or not, or you can feign it, and then followed by that rear body kick. And that, that's what I'm going into in this in this fight here. I'm tapping into kickboxing because um, I don't want to catch all these counter uppercuts that he's landing on me. So I'm going to tap into the kickboxing style. And then on top of that, he's been kicking my leg a lot. So if I'm going to kickbox, chances are I'm going to be in that range. And I don't want him to land by, uh, low kicks against me to hurt my leg or get a rock. So, going to automatically switch stances. I don't want to take any more chances here. Here we go. And look at my stamina. Faint. Kick to the body. Right? He does a high kick. Faint, faint. And we want to see what he's doing with his block. Right? Because chances are he's going to probably block his body after he sees a cross. But we got to do it at proper range. That way it'll turn into a high kick. Right? So, right now. Boom. Nope. He blocks that. Okay. Nice, nice, but don't don't forget we can still box. We can still box, but I'm preferring to prep to uh to kickbox now. Boom! I throw that kick. He misses. Faints. Back up. Nice. Cross. Body kick. That shouldn't have landed because he lunged out the way. But EA Sports UFC four. Boom! Body uppercut. Nice front kick. He can probably gonna throw a low kick after that, or maybe another front kick. Faint. Body. Uh, roundhouse. Boom! Boom! Ah, oh, nice. Now, 
He's pressuring me. But again, we still are right front. He's not going to be able to pressure me like, like he wants to. Jab cross, jab cross. Faints. Body kick landed. Uppercut cross, lead hook. Or up, I'm sorry. Uppercut, yeah, uppercut lead hook followed by a cross. Jab cross, landed clean. Cross faint. Body roundhouse. Cross that body, lead hook to the body. Clean. Then we're going to throw a high kick when he gets up. High kick, boom, but he blocks it. Okay. Nice low kick. Nice high kick. Okay. Nice. Oh, he threw it to the body that time. And you guys see. Boom, 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 boom. If he wants to pressure me, and that's fine. But I'm still right front. You know, I've still got the hands. But I just switched over into a kickboxer mindset. But if he gets in the pocket, I have no problem with, you know, boxing. Boom, we rock him here, high kick, land it clean, knock him down. Okay. He gets up. Back to the body. Fake faint. Body roundhouse, land it clean. He's probably gonna throw a high kick. Oh, overhand. Boom, rear hook landed. Okay. Let's throw a front kick when he gets up. Moving forward. Figured he'd think I'd try to go to the body. Body, 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 yep. Body, 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 body. Yep, I threw that because I just like, forget it. I'm gonna throw these body hooks. I haven't really went to the body much with the punches, so the uppercut stopped. So, body, 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 body. I knew his head health was low, his body health was low, his stamina was low, so that resulted to that finish there, man. And that'll be the last fight on the showcase, man. I hope you guys learned from this. I hope you guys enjoyed this as well. And I'll tell you, man, Rob Font is actually pretty damn good, man. I'll give him his props. Uh, hopefully, I'll see more of him in ranked. Um, so I can stop seeing Bielta Yans and TJs, man. But, hey, if you guys enjoyed this, man, be sure to hit the like button. If y'all are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe up. And don't forget, turn on those notifications because you don't want to miss a stream and you don't want to miss an upload. All right, guys? Peace out.